The next thing that I might do, or that I, I, I need to do here, is actually get this into the coordinate system. So to do that, I'm going to import another file. Okay, this time I'm going to import in a point file. And that point file is going to be my GPS data. So if I go to my projects and in my survey project workflow, I grab this GPS file. It's a point number northern easting elevation common limit. Now you'll notice that it's got a 10,000 number, so 10,002, 101, 102, and you can see their, their descriptions. So I'm going to click next and import this file. I'm not going to bring it into the same um, network. Um, actually could, but we'll leave it outside the network for now. So I'm just going to go next and bring these points in. Now those points are going to go up into state plane uh, coordinates. All right, so they're way up here now. All right, and what I need to do is I need to move my survey database up to these points and rotate them. You can do this all in one shot. I'm actually going to do it in two, two processes. I'm going to move it first and then I'm going to rotate it. I'm only doing this because it helps um, adjust the information a little bit better. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my survey database here. Let's just update those figures and make sure that they're good to go. Close that message. I'm going to go to my survey databases and I'm going to translate the survey database. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start and I'm going to move by point number two because point number two is one of the points that is that point right there that they GPSed. Those are the original coordinates and you can see the original elevation for point number two. Okay. I'm going to go next. It's going to ask me for rotation angle. I'm going to skip this step right now and I'm just going to leave it at a rotation angle of zero. So I need to determine what the angle of rotation is and I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. So I'm going to go next. Now it's asking me for a northing and easting to move to. I'm actually going to pick in the drawing and that's going to allow me to come out and I'm actually going to pick this point node right here. So I'm just going to go right click and go to node and I'm going to select the node of that point and therefore it populates the northing and easting for that point into my window here. Okay. And just verifying that my point and my label, you want to, don't always want to trust these labels. Um, the label could be set to metric. It could be set, you know, to different precisions and stuff. So I'm just doing that as a quick, a quick look. Notice my elevation is 3736. Um, so I'm going to need to know that elevation change. So my elevation change for point, basically, if I look at, I'm looking at 99.827 and I need to get it to an elevation of 3736. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to move the entire database down to meet that 37 uh, foot uh, value. So doing the math is basically uh, 60 2.465. Now I want to bring it down, so I'll make sure I put a negative value. So I'm going to lower it down. So I'm basically moving this not only horizontally but vertically. We're going to go next. We're going to hit finish. It's going to bring our survey database up to this new location. Okay. So it's brought all the points up. Give it a second to update the points. Now it's also going to move this 10,002 and uh, all the other, those three points. It's going to move those on that same shift. Okay. Um, so we'll give this a second. So if we do a zoom extent, you can see that it's, um, it's out in the middle of nowhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this point file we brought in, I'm going to re-import it. And I'm going to click OK. The points already exist in the drawing, so it's going to come in, it's going to ask me, what do you want to do? Well, I want to go ahead and overwrite. So I'm going to apply this to all, all three points. And when I do that, you can see now it's moved, or brought those points down, 
and I'm in within that. So right here is my uh, 10,002. Uh, over in here you can see there's 10,001. And up top here you can see is my 10,002. So what I can do next is I can you know figure out which one I want to rotate about. If we take a look, there's PK101. So that's point number 101 that is where I need to rotate this um, this 101, right? This 10,001. That's my rotation angle, right? So I've got basically three points. My 101 that I survey collected, I'm, I'm holding and rotating on point number two, and I need to rotate 101, so I need to move this and rotate it in a positive uh, direction. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do another rotate. Now, again, I could have figured this angle out before and does this, done this all in one shot. This is my workflow. This is what I prefer to do because I like to go through this in a very detailed, oriented fashion. I'm going to click on the translate. I'm going to start at point number two. I'm going to leave it the way it is, so I don't have to change anything here. We'll go next. Now on my rotation angle, again, to figure it out, I'm just going to click on Pick Points and Drawing. So when I do that, it says Specify Initial Direction. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to snap to the node of that point. And I'm going to come up, and I'm going to pick the node of that point. Now it's asked me for the new direction, so I'm just picking the node of point number two again, and I'm going to tell it to rotate down, all right, to the node of that point right there. So there's my rotation angle. So a negative 33, or yeah, 338.1545, uh, all right. I don't have to do any changes here. I'm leaving that coordinate in elevation the way it is. I'm just going to go next, and I'm going to hit finish. So now I'm applying my rotation, so everything should be moved and rotated down. Now we'll also, again, move those original points, right? It's going to rotate that 101 and 102, so on and so forth. So what I do is the last step is I'll re-import that file again, that, that particular point file for those three points, just so that they're put back in their, their proper location. So again, we'll just give this a second to process. And now you'll see that the, the survey's been uh, rotated. So again, here's those points, uh, obviously, in the, the wrong location. So what I'll do is I'll come in here. Oops, sorry, not there. I'll come back to my survey workspace, re-import those, those points again. Again, just those three. Oops. Apply duplicates. And now our points are re-brought into the to their proper location okay